done. I'm a hot mess today, so ignore the hairdo. I took a shower really late and then slept on it, and so it always looks really wonky after that. But I just had to shower that night. I did a workout. Um, anyway, I am doing grocery haul today, and this month, the next four to five weeks, I don't know how this month works, I'm going to be doing these grocery hauls every week because I am doing a pantry clean out slash very cheap grocery budget. And the reason I'm doing this is because we are furnishing a playroom. So the room uh, back there um, next to the door is a room that's called a flex room. And since we made that room into Olivia's playroom, we had to move our regular furniture and our TV and all that kind of stuff, our couch into that front room. It's really small. So our room is a pretty a bit cramped for that, um, but we are going to be moving the furniture back and I want to furnish her playroom, get a really nice table and maybe a teepee, at least have some sort of reading nook and I've got a window seat plan going on and it's going to cost some money and I like stuff from Pottery Barn. It's very expensive so I am trying to cut our grocery budget so I can wing the Pottery Barn stuff. Um, so I thought that this would be a great time to clean out the pantry, save a little bit of money, and get this um, and get this pottery barn furnished playroom. It's so expensive. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's definitely not a place that we shop very often, but I just happen to love one of their craft tables and oh my gosh, the window seat stuff. I love it. But anyway, enough about that. I'll show you the groceries because we're going to go on the super cheap side. So I picked up groceries. I did the Myers curbside pickup again. Olivia's playing and making lots of noise, so it's going to be a loud video like like all my videos lately. Um, but I ended up doing the curbside pickup. I spent $102 exactly. And then I did a Target return and then used that money to get a couple of other things. So I still have money on a Target gift card. I'm not counting that with the budget, but it was like $11, but I returned something pretty big and got like $40 on a gift card. Um, so I'm not counting that towards like the grocery spending. I'm gonna use that as needed. Um, but I ended up getting the bulk of what we're gonna use for the next two weeks and I'm gonna really, um, I'm gonna really try to stretch it out and use what's in the pantry. Um, so it's gonna be an interesting week. So now it's time to walk through the groceries while Olivia plays. I ended up ordering a couple of things that they were out of, but we can still make it work. So I'm going to put this ice cream in the freezer because I talked for quite a while. It's just Edie's vanilla bean and this one happened to be on sale. We finally used all the ice cream from the freezer and so I wanted to just pick up another one to have in there. That ice cream had just been in there so long I didn't want it to get icy or go bad. I wanted to make sure we ate it. And then these are the items I got from Target. I got some more of the Happy Baby Rice Cakes in the apple flavor. And then these are one of her favorite snacks, the Ella's Kitchen Toddler Cheddar Leeks Multigrain Wheels. We opened that in the store as soon as she saw it. And then I also got a little pack of Huggies. I just want these for the car. The rest of the stuff I got at Myers, I had to move the snacks because she wanted them and she's snacking on other stuff right now. I want her to eat those first. I got a bag of black beans. I didn't realize these were like open stock, which I think is really cool. So I'm going to do these in the crock pot. She's been loving black beans, so I thought we could save a little bit by making them ourselves with the dried beans. Then for fresh stuff, I ended up getting a just a little bit of fresh stuff. I still have a big bag of cuties left and I ended up getting a lot of frozen veggies. I thought we could save a lot of money doing the frozen veggies. Myers has really good mixed veggies in the freezer section. So I got like exactly the veggies I would have chopped up anyway. So it saves me time and money. I'm I'm a fan of the frozen veggies. I ended up getting some stir fry ones recently from there and liking them. For fresh stuff, we got bananas, some russet potatoes, some jazz apples for Johnny's lunch. We still have apples that we haven't been eating all that much, so we gotta eat those this week or next week. Some broccoli, some strawberries, and also I just picked up one of these seedless watermelon spears. It's just a buck and they're big, huge watermelons. We're like seven bucks still. So I'm waiting for the watermelons to get cheaper, but I thought in the meantime, we could just have a little snack. Olivia, I don't remember if Olivia likes watermelon or not. I got two things of the Arm & Hammer for sensitive skin. We have been using the Honest Company one, but it just has not left our clothes really clean lately. It's left some of our clothes smelling a little bit weird and I can't figure out what to do with it. So I'm just buying some other stuff. I've heard this is a thing with their detergent sometimes. So I'm just gonna try the other out and see what happens. It's definitely a lot cheaper than the Honest Company ones. I got some provolone cheese. Do you want more raisins? 
I have some onions I need to use, so I thought I would make a big thing of um, a French onion soup. I've got a copycat, I think Applebee's version of French onion soup, and I put provolone cheese on the top. And I got a big thing of the oven roasted chicken breast from their, it's Sara Lee brand, and I was reading it doesn't have the fillers and it doesn't have MSG, so I wanted to get that one and try it out. I notice on here it does say it has sugar, which I'm not sure if the other one had sugar or not. We'll see. We're going to try it. It just happened to be on sale at the store, and it saved me a trip to the other store, so hopefully she likes it as much as the other one. She is addicted to that other meat, and it's the, like the only, the only meat I can get her to have, and I ended up trying to get like ham and turkey and stuff too, but they were sold out of the ones that I had picked out. So we just got chicken this time. But yeah, I'm trying to get her to like other meats too. Then I got some whole wheat bread and some wheat hamburger buns. I got more of the teriyaki sauce we like. It's great for stir fries. Then some wing sauce. I'm gonna be using that for our date night, which I'll talk about in a second. And then we're gonna try this out. Sweet and spicy, sweet baby rays. These ones happen to be on sale and I really like their buffalo sauce. So for date night for the next, I think probably two weeks, we'll probably have enough stuff. I went ahead and got us this. We were talking about trying chicken fries from, gosh, I think Burger King. We haven't gone to Burger King since college days, but they've been showing these chicken fries on the TV, so I'm like, Oh, they have frozen chicken fries at Myers. We're gonna try this at home instead of do the fast food version. So I just bought the Meyer brand chicken fries. They're Meyer brand extra crispy shoestring fries and also some jalapeno poppers. Hey. You silly. She's trying to say shoestring, I think. Um, and then for Olivia, I was looking for some other kind of meat or meat substitute thing and I ended up getting these meat substitute chicken nuggets. Another thing with protein that I can try to get her to eat. Um, mildly, somewhat healthy. I don't know if it's really healthy or not. And then I got some more of the mixed fruit. She's been loving these. I got two of those. And I also got this for us to try. It's just mini beef ravioli. Definitely not great for you, but I thought it'd be a nice treat for us to have for lunch. And then I ended up picking up these yogurts for me. These do definitely have sugar in them. Tart cherry noosa and also some lemon noosa. And these lemon ones are so good. I've never tried the tart cherry. They happen to be a dollar off. So each one of these was like a buck, which I think is great. It's a great little like sweet snack for me. And this is the yogurt she's been having. It's dairy free. She's been having trouble with milk stuff. So I been getting this and she's been loving that for breakfast. Some biscuits, we're gonna be doing beef stew and I put these over the top as cheater dumplings. For frozen veggies, I got a thing of French cut green beans, um, this Italian style veggie medley, and two of these stir fry veggies, which I've really liked, and then two of these, two of these soup mix veggies. So I'll use one of these this week and I don't know about when I'll use the other one, I'll just use them whenever. Then I got some beef raviolis. I just wanted to make raviolis one night for dinner. They were out of the portobello mushroom ones. I was gonna get a beef and a portobello mushroom one because I like the mushrooms. And that is it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up some of this cold stuff. I've been chit-chatting a long time. And then I'll show you guys our two-week meal plan. Olivia is playing with Princess Castle again, and so it's gonna be really, really loud. I'm gonna walk through the meal plan. So this was this week's meal plan. I've been grocery shopping on Friday and then um, doing our new meal plan starting Saturday. Tonight we're having date night with that chicken fry and fries and all that frozen junk. Um, and then I'm gonna do beef stew, and I only have the beef stew written on one day, but it could at least be two or three days. So I'm gonna stretch that out and probably change everything up just like normal. And then I'm gonna do some sort of breakfast. I bought buttermilk this last week for, um, for some pound cakes I was making. I have a lot of it left, so I'm gonna be making a ton of buttermilk waffles. Probably do some sort of frittata. I've still got frozen sausage I need to use, so I'll make some sausage patties or something with that and make a ton of waffles to just put in the freezer and then we can heat them in the oven or the toaster. Then I went ahead and made my meal plan but like I said I'm going to at least have two more extra days. So I'm going to do fried rice and we'll have leftovers one night with that. I've got tons of rice we could use up. Then we'll do raviolis and veggies one night. I'll just stir fry some of those frozen veggies um, in some olive oil with maybe some garlic and red pepper flakes to make it spicy and we'll just have that with the ravioli as like a sauce with that. 
Then I'm gonna be doing barbecue sandwiches with those green beans. I've got some beef roasts in the freezer. I've got at least two or three of those still left. So I'm gonna just put one in a crock pot then cover it with barbecue sauce and make sandwiches with the wheat wheat buns. Then we'll do another date night with the apps and fries again. Then we're gonna have some sort of biscuits and gravy and hash browns type of breakfast night. I don't know, I've been really wanting breakfast nights. I bought a big thing of sausage I never ended up using when I had family come because we got the stomach bug and just never ended up using it. So I'll mix that in with the gravy for the biscuits and gravy. Then we'll do leftovers of some sort. So I built in a leftover day of um, just freezer clean out and stuff. Then we also have some cube steak. So I'll be making some cube steak with veggies, just using whatever veggies or frozen veggies we have. Another ravioli and veggies night. A fried rice and stir fry. I'll be using the teriyaki sauce for um, stir frying veggies that night. Probably this night too. I said fried rice, but I'm, I'm gonna be throwing lots of veggies in it too. Then I'm gonna be doing a chicken and rice and it'll be at least for two nights. So we've got lots of wild rice. It'll probably be just the chicken thrown in the crock pot with some seasoning. And then I'll make some sort of cream sauce um, with the rice and chicken when I shred it. Then we'll do another date night at home or go out. At least one of these date nights will probably go out. Um, and then I'll do leftovers of the chicken and rice and then I'm gonna do some sort of roast thing. So for the roast that I'm gonna be using, it's a pretty big beef roast. I'll probably cut it in half and just put half of it in the crock pot and we'll still have leftovers from that night. I'm sure we'll have leftovers. Um, if I stick the whole roast in, I'll just shred some of the beef, stick it in the freezer for future day and then we'll have some sort of roast thing carrying us into the next week. And this is a little over two weeks of meal planning. I will end up going and getting some more like fresh veggies, some fresh fruit um, for that second week. So I'll do a grocery haul next week, show you how I changed the meal plan around because I'm definitely gonna change it around, I always do. I just can't stick to, you know, Monday we're gonna have this no matter what, Tuesday we're gonna have this no matter what, I really, you know, sometimes I'm just not in the mood for something. I'm de I'm definitely food moody. I really am not in the mood for things or I really want something. Uh, it's just, I don't know, my personality. I really have particular ideas about what I want to eat <laughs> at any given moment. Um, but yeah, I think that is it. Um, I know you guys like these videos. People have mentioned you guys want these weekly, so I'm gonna give you a weekly grocery haul month. Um, and I know you guys are seeing this late, so it's gonna be like mid-May by the time you guys see this. I wanted to go ahead and do this month and show you guys how we're gonna eat on the cheap and I'll show you some meals throughout the next month or so. I might push the meals back depending on what videos I have coming up. They might end up showing up even later than these grocery haul videos. But I do wanna show you guys some of our like budget-friendly, super simple, cheap meals that we're gonna be having this month. Um, so I can hopefully furnish a playroom in way too expensive furniture. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like grocery hauls and if you're excited about cheap grocery months. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye. I might do some sort of meals video to go along with this since we're eating on the cheap side. No, 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 no. That's not for you, baby. That's my little troublemaker. Yeah, you. Do you want your do you want your snack? Do you want your snack? Do you want to eat? Eat? Okay. In case we're out at a picnic or something, we have some extra wipes to use. Then as far as the stuff we got it. Olivia, you already had one. No, no throwing. No, no throwing. If you throw something again, you're gonna have to be all done. Okay, you eat your snackies. I thought it'd be a nice treat for us to have for lunch. All done raisins? Do you wanna eat any of your goldfish or are you all done? You all done? Two of these, two of these soup mix veggies. I'm gonna be doing beef stew once. I'll use one of these and then, all right. Can you get your school bus turned? You tipped it. Yeah. Turn it this way. Let's put your bus driver back in. Beep, beep. 
The roasts are pretty big, so I'll probably even cut it in half and we'll still... Olivia, Olivia, what do you want, baby? Mommy's trying to talk. Go chase the doggy if you want. She's so distracting right now with her yelling. Uh, she's just learned to scream really well lately, and so she's been screaming a lot. Um, so I'm trying to backtrack and try to say things again. 